Good afternoon, Alex here again. Another one of our behind the scenes videos. Yesterday we looked at um, the Bellman hangar. Well, this time I've taken across to some of our older hangars over the other side. Actually, I think they're, I think they're slightly newer than the Bellmans, but um, around about the same era, all Second World War. Um, the ones we've got here, I'm just gonna turn the camera around to show you a little better. The ones we have here were uh, designed and built by AJ Main and Co Limited and they're known as a main hill hanger, sometimes known as a main hanger, um, or an Admiral, Admiralty, Admiralty Type S hanger. Uh, originally there would have been 11 of these in total built on the airport, and we only have three left now. We've got this one here with the original doors, you can see that, the original specifications, how they were designed and built originally. I'm going to take you across to one that we're actually in the process of renovating. Um, so it's deteriorating slightly, so um, you'll see that there's a different uh, style door on the front that's been added later on, a retrofit, uh, and fire exits have been added to it and everything like that. So um, I'll take you across and just show you some of the renovation work that's been going on. All in all, there are about 335 of these built across 29 airfields. It's a quite a popular hangar design. And just across the way from it, we'll come into view as we're walking across, is a slightly different style of hangar, same kind of era. And it's a, called a Frompson hangar, designed by Frompson Massillon. And there were eight of that type of hanger, which you'll see just as I come around the corner now. See it just coming into view, just beyond hanger to hango. There would have been eight of these originally, there's only two left now. In the time I've been here, I've been here about eight years now, I've seen ten of these smaller hanger styles come down, you know, coming to the end of their lives. They're only temporary structures, you see, very similar to the Bellman's. You can just see beyond the vehicle there, you can see the second style World War II hangar. You'll notice a slightly different shape. So the sides on the, on the Frompson hangar uh, slope a lot more. When you look at it face on now, you can kind of see that. door. The front door is very similar and similar size as well. So you get a similar amount of aircraft in both. But we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, Tango Hangar because it's one that's being currently renovated. Power supply is going in. These are powered doors. Uh, they can be operated manually and have been for all the time I've been here. Um, but uh, as part of the renovation, the council are putting the power back to them and restoring the doors. They'll be powered, which will be very good for the uh, residents inside. We've got no aircraft in there at the moment, obviously, whilst the renovation works are ongoing, but we'll just go inside and have a look. So you can see the structure inside now. Very simple system, really. All you need to build one of these structures is a solid base really you don't really need any any proper foundations as such and then the framework just gets put together the sides would go up first and then the trusses would be made on the ground then hoisted up and uh, and linked in you see that's tied in with bars going across as well it's basically not far off an elaborate Meccano set really and once the framework's up it's just a simple case of cladding the uh, the exterior. So you can see the doors from the inside now. Uh, once they're fully functional, which I believe that will be very soon, that will just all open up automatically just on the press of a button, which would be nice for the uh, residents that have been inside the hangar. We get about six aircraft in here quite comfortably, depending on size obviously. But uh, generally, three, three each side, or two each side, two in the middle. Um, you get six in quite comfortably. You'll see that the cladding all along the edge at the top of the wall there has all been replaced. Uh, along both sides as well.
These were temporary structures put up in World War II. Never imagined that they'd ever be standing anywhere near the time they have been, but 80 years later, and we're just patching them up to ensure they can continue to be safely used for the foreseeable future. The council have got plans, I believe, for developing the entire airfield along this side as well. So, sadly, at some point, all these uh, hangars' lives will be over. They were only ever temporary in World War II, and here we are in 2022, and they're still going strong. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye now.